seven-year-old girl has died days after a house fire that killed married couple and their four-year-old daughter. Little Ivy May Hall died in Bristol's Children's Hospital last week where she had been in a critical condition. Married couple Daniel Rudge, 29, and Kaylee Rudge, 28, also died in a fire at their home in Clayton Road, Exeter. On February 2, their four-year-old twin daughter Lily Rose Rudge died the same day after being taken to the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital. Devon Senior Coroner Philip Spinney opened inquest into all four deaths. Mr. Spinney said the causes are yet to be established and further investigations are being adjourned. The inquest for further inquiries to be made including the preparation of a full fire investigation report into how the place started. Two other children, Lily Rose's four-year-old twin brother and a nine-year-old boy, were rescued from the burning house and treated in hospital. Devon and Cornwall police previously said the fire, which started in the downstairs of the home, was not being treated as suspicious. No faults have been identified with any electrical appliances or wiring in the property, a force spokesperson superintendent Anthony Hart, of Devon and Cornwall police, added. The circumstances of this tragic incident have touched the hearts of all of those who were involved in the emergency response, those who know the family and the why. Our thoughts are with the family at this difficult time, and they are being supported by specialist office. We ask that the privacy of those who are grieving is respected. The investigation into the fire is ongoing as part of the coronial process. The biggest hard tributes have flooded in for Dan and Kaylee, who had been married for five years, and Daniel's sister Mandy Rudge, 31, said there's not much we can say, words cannot describe how we feel. I've lost a brother, sister and niece. We were talking with them only the other day and now that Kaylee was the most beautiful person in the whole world and Daniel has the biggest heart. They would do anything for anyone. Close pal Lauren England said, Daniel's sister is our good friend and neighbor and we used to socialize a few times a week with Daniel and we are absolutely devastated and heartbroken not only to lose friends, but to help his sister and family get through this all. They were such funny caring and loving individuals, amazing parents to their four beautiful. They were always there when we needed them the most without any hesitation. They were at our door within minutes, always thinking about everyone else but they will be truly missed and Exeter has gained a huge hole in its heart as they were very popular among the community. We hope their souls are at peace and their babies they've left behind will be very well taken care of and will never go without love and care. Motorbike Club Satan Slaves MC Devon, where Dan was a member, also paid tribute to the family alongside a photo of the dad they wrote. Rest in peace Dan Demons MC Devon. His wife Kaylee and their little Our prayers are with their other children in hospital. Sometimes there are just no words to cover said a GoFundMe page launched to help the tragic family has raised more than 38,000 pounds so police were scrambled to the home just after 5.30 a.m. on Sunday. Fire crews had already extinguished the flames at the home. Lee Howe, chief fire officer at Devon and Somerset Fire and Rescue, said, Our hearts go out to everyone who knew the family involved in the fire. It's an incredibly sad time for the city and our community. Our thoughts are with the children who are still critically ill in hospital and the lives of those who have been changed forever by them. We would ask everyone reading this message to consider safety in your home, and take simple steps, such as regularly testing your smoke.